Hello people! Today we will make Korean German or German Korean or whatever. So let's get right into the alternative history. In December 1882, Emperor Lee sent the German linguist Paul Georg von Möllendorf to the Korean king. Von Möllendorf quickly learned Korean and gained the favor of the Korean king. He became a vice foreign minister, who quickly established many treaties with Germany, Britain, Russia and Italy. And now to the alternative history. In one of those treaties, let's say 1885, he, as a German, acquired personal ownership of Helgoland in return for better trading treaties and docking rights in mainland Korea. The Korean king sent him and an army of 1,000 men with their families to Helgoland to establish a Korean embassy because the king Gojong of Korea wanted China to get rid of him. Since the 1880s a mixed population of Koreans and Germans lived on Helgoland, mainly Hangul writing system was teached. Von Möllendorf, being interested in Creole languages, started teaching his daughters Korean and other German children. Vice versa, he taught the Korean children German. He sadly died right before a journey to China in 1901 on the island of Helgoland. Helgoland stayed neutral during World War I and World War II and the language on the island changed drastically. Wait. As a Korean, I got something to say. Korean is an agglutinative language with SOV word order, which is written left to right. Its language family is Koreanic, which is debatably part of the Altaic languages. Modern Korean is one of the official languages of Korea and is famous for having a unique writing system called Hangul. Roughly 700,000 BC, when humans began to settle and live on the Korean peninsula, Korean probably came to be. Hangul, the modern Korean writing system, doesn't actually have a long history. In the 15th century, comparatively late, King Sejong created the easy and scientific writing system called Hangul for the people who could not read the difficult Chinese characters. Before that, Chinese characters were widely used to write Korean. The history of Korean can be divided into four stages. Old Korean, Middle Korean, Early Modern Korean, and Modern Korean. And we will use Early Modern Korean when we make Korean German. Ah. Now, let's mix German and Korean. We decided to use Hangul as the writing system, but don't worry, I'll put transcriptions everywhere. The grammar will be mainly German, but the vocab will be mainly Korean. I think adding some Korean quirks like the topic marker and leaving some specialized German words fits the theme of the story. Phonology. Because the vocabulary will be a mixture of German and Korean, I think we need to add a few sounds to the base Korean phonology. I'd add the letters for F and for V. We will use these letters because the sharp end on top of the letters indicates a so-called teeth sound like S and the bottom line indicates that the bottom lip is used. Example, Schafe for sheep from the German word Schaf. To pronounce the different versions of CH in German, we will use these and also sometimes this letter may be pronounced like Z for Germanic words. Basic grammar. Plural is gone. If you want to indicate it, you can use DIL, but you don't need to. There are a few markers imported from Korean. I, GA for subject, IL, RIL for direct object, EG for indirect object and E, S for possession, where the S comes from the German genitive S and the E from the Gyeongsong dialect. As we have all these markers, we don't need the German articles anymore. Goodbye, d -dadas. For the verb conjugation, I had to decide on a perfectly regular system or not. German has a lot of irregular words like haben, to have, or gehen, to go, but f that, let's make it as regular as possible. 
I also only made three tenses, sorry. Oh, on special request, the word for Z, G, German honorific, will stay. It's conjugated just like the third person plural. For the pronouns, you can see here that most of the pronouns are from Korean. Some of them are uh, from German, like Z, obviously. And there's also no differentiation between he, she, it. It's just ge. And for my personal pleasure, I'll add the ER ending. It's basically the same in German and English. Work becomes worker, Arbeit becomes Arbeiter. Instead of ER, we will just add A. I could bore you with the vocabulary right now, or I can directly show you an example text. Warning, if you know Hangul, your eyes might burn. This filga shared in Hanel, Untin Tang, Kebu Uriege Uris, Idiunga Pang Owner, Unt Fagebu Uriege Uris Cherer, Unt Uriga Fageben Uris Cherer, An Feru Uril in Gem, Sundan let Uril Fon Ag, Lanti Unt Himi Unt Yongwangi, East Gis in Evig. Amen. So, did you survive it? Great! How do you like this corn lang? Write it in the comments and like and subscribe and all that jazz. Also, ideas are always welcomed. And if you want, you can join my Discord server. Goodbye!